I think a lot about um, a lot about Leadville having never been there. There's a fear of the unknown component that drives me. When I'm riding, I'm thinking about, I'm envisioning myself at that altitude, uh, in those conditions, and I still can't see it. And so the fear of the unknown really, really keeps driving me on a regular basis. I'm Drew McKinnon, and I'm racing the Leadville 100 mountain bike race. So we're in Ridgewood Cycle in Ridgewood, New Jersey. It's a store that I've owned for the last 15 years. It's been in my family for the last 50 years. That lever sounds great. Yeah. We carry everything from tricycles to the highest end triathlon bike. I feel lucky, I feel blessed every day that I'm able to work at something that I'm so passionate about. There's something about endurance sports that have always intrigued me because they were always that something that was insurmountable. That, that I, I, I would look at the distances of these races and just, it was inconceivable that somebody would want to do that <laughs> on purpose in the same day. <laughs> and then I saw guys that were my age that were, that were doing it, and I thought, if they can do that, I could do it too. And I've done 10 Ironman and uh, raced in 28 marathons, and uh, heard about this crazy Leadville 100 mountain bike race from some friends. And uh, they all talked about it as being the holy grail of mountain bike races out in, out in Colorado. Most guys my age would probably want to go on a cruise or buy a new car at 50. And, uh, and, and for me, uh, to be given the opportunity to do the Leadville 100 is a pretty sweet gift. Training full-time with a family and a full-time retail business is extraordinarily challenging, but the training is really is my solace. It's it's my time. It's it's my time to control my diabetes. It's it's my best work gets done when I'm out training. I feel better after every workout that I've gone. I've never regretted a workout. And with cycling, I've been able to further help manage my blood sugar levels and keep a better control on my diabetes. Being diabetic, I test my blood on a pretty regular basis. Blueprint for athletes is intriguing. I can't wait to try it out. I can't wait to, uh, to start the testing process to see what is in the 50 biomarkers. When we measure blood-based biomarkers, we're getting an idea of how the body is responding and adapting. So we can measure things like nutritional deficiencies, we can measure things like recovery, hydration status, and all of the markers that are included are intended for athletes to be able to take actions from the insights that they gain. And so this is going to help me to dial in training, to dial in my diet. Training for Leadville adds another level uh, to that. I've never said once that I've got this thing. Never. And I don't ever want to get complacent. I don't ever want to think that, that I've got this thing because then it'll get me. I'm almost 50 and I've raced for the last 20 years and I've got the same feeling I had for my very first race and it's exciting. In the first couple of miles, everybody bottlenecked, but once you, we had a little bit of uh, room to move, things just started to click. Like it felt strong, the training went right, nutrition was right. You know, the, the whole blueprint test that came back showed me that most of the things were dialed in my blood work. I was passing a lot of riders, I felt really strong. My body was responding to the effort that I was, that I was asking it to do. I'm doing great, I'm having the race of my life. It was a picture perfect day. Andrew McKinnon, Andrew! Andrew! So I, I just couldn't be any happier with the end result. Leadville, lifetime, and quest. Woo!